should other shops be thinking about this or, or like when, when is it a good fit for somebody? If, if somebody's listening to this and thinking, Oh, huh, hmm, maybe I should, you know, do I have something here? Should I try this route or like, um, so you don't raise, you have to raise money with a strategy. Like our strategy is that hopefully someday, like we can get acquired by a bigger company, right? Um, that might be five years down the road. That might be 10 years down the road. That might be two years down the road, but you don't raise money unless you're going to go public or you're going to get acquired. Um, and to be clear, some companies get acquired and run as is for decades. You know, it's not yeah. like, oh, I want to walk away from the business. Um, I just want to take it to a point, you know, feel a reward from it and then continue working in it or whatever that may be. So, um, you know, you have to have a strategy otherwise like playing with like that house money that's that's you know wasteful now if you think you can get really profitable too if you're like ooh i know at a certain point if i invest this in the in the money machine out will come this mm-hmm. um you know that could be another another reason you raise money but i think i, I was it might have been ryan when i was a little younger i was like when when do you feel like is the right time to raise money is like when you feel like you're getting too close to the line of using the financing that's out there. Meaning you don't want to sell any of your company if you don't have to. Whenever you raise capital, you sell a piece of your company. So if you can use, you know, lines of credit and you can finance things properly and you're smart that way and you hold on to your cash, you can you can leverage, you know, leverage yourself pretty pretty like strongly. And I think small businesses don't realize that until they get a little bit bigger and they're like, oh, what is a cash position? And how do I use leverage and stuff like that? You know, we bought our first, when we moved into the new, the new shop, we bought our equipment in cash, hard cash. And when I look back, I was like, like, I thought that was cool. And then I was like, that's so stupid. Like should have kept that cash in the bank to use it for the business and like financed it for nothing. Instead, we just like burn that in there just so we could like, you know. So I, I would always say you want to learn to finance before you, you've you exhausted that. Unless you feel like you have something that can hockey stick, you know. Um, and I think that's the the whole thing is something that's going to accelerate quickly. It makes me think that we need a, a like a finance one-on-one class for <laughs> For shop owners, like it'd be awesome to bring in somebody that truly knows about all these different options, uh, just to help. Yeah, learn. this is a this is a anti profit first mentality. Let's just put it that way. Right. This is not for. It's, it because, seems very calculated and purposeful. It's like okay, there's money. You know, you spend this, you do this and that, and then maybe you need to raise more or not or what. You know, it's like. But you're right. It's very different than profit first. I mean, it's 100% yeah. different. 